everybody welcome back to our third video of what's the coop this week me and my friends we want to talk about my main motto with farming and that's happy chickens make happy eggs we're going to talk about health happiness and entertainment for your chickens my little friend here she's hanging out with me we decided to bring them outside because it's harder to see inside the coop, so we brought them out to you so we could talk about all the things involved with keeping your friends happy and healthy. You want some? So, where do we begin? There's so many different things. I'll start with, I guess, the most fun. Let's start with fun first, back second. Uh, your chickens are very curious, fun animals. They want to experience everything. They want to explore. They want to check everything out. So the way to keep them happy and healthy and not picking on each other, not plucking feathers, anything along those lines is keep them entertained. They're very curious. You don't want them to get bored. So there's a lot of fun facts or fun things that I've learned over the years. There you go. Did you find yourself a worm? to keep them happy and entertained. My favorite is, make sure you're scooted in, is the old fun trick of a hanging lettuce ball. I don't, they've never seen lettuce before, but, oh, look it, she loves it. So it's a very inexpensive way to keep the chicks entertained and pecking and happy and doing fun things. So. A 99 cent investment at your local grocery store will give them hours and hours and hours of endless fun. So you hang it up inside your coop and let them go to town pecking at it. The cabbage or lettuce, I use lettuce for here because I didn't want to go to the store, but uh, the cabbage or lettuce will work and they'll just peck at it and it'll move and it'll swing and then they can chase it and peck at it for hours. It's endless fun for your chicks. She's having a great time here. You wanna put some of your food right there? Another really, really fun source of protein would be dried mealworms. You can get these at your local tractor store or farm supply store for uh, very small amounts of money. You could also start your own uh, worm farm, which is what I'm currently looking into. But anyway, these are dried mealworms. They're a really fun source of protein. They love eating them because naturally when we get them to be free ranging, they're going to be searching in the dirt for worms and picking them out. You want some of these? There you go. And it's fun for them to look and pick through the ground and sort through them and eat the worms. It's a good source of protein. Do you want to go down? There you go. That keeps them entertained. Um, so that's a few of the tricks. Some other things that I love, love, love to give to the chickens, grapes. They love to peck the grapes and chase each other all over the place and try and get the grapes from each other. It's a huge source of fun. It's awesome. Some things to make sure you don't give your chickens. No potatoes. Sweet potatoes are fine. Don't give them white potatoes. It'll kill them. It's toxic to, toxic to them. Also, the leaves on potatoes are very toxic. So if you do have free ranging chickens, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're very careful and keep your potato plants locked up so they can't get anywhere close to them. You don't want to give your laying hens onions. Yuck. It not only will make the egg taste like onion, but it's not good for them either. Don't give them avocados. You know, you really want to stick to veggies, um, lettuces, celeries, carrots, grapes, any of those kind of treats are great for your chickens and it gives them a different type of food other than their normal grain. It's fun for them. It's awesome. It's really fun to watch also. Okay, some other things that I wanna go over. Oyster shells. You can also achieve this with eggshells. I know that sounds really strange, but you can take or save all of your eggshells and end up baking them and drying them out, crushing them up, and it's a really great source of calcium. Uh, you could also buy oyster shells. Oyster shells and calcium are really great for uh, making nice, super hard, super tough shells um, so that they don't break. They, you know, it gets a lot of, um, gets a lot of stuff into their stomachs that they wouldn't normally find if you're, especially if you have them in a run. Chickens, when they're out and about, they like to peck at rocks and swallow rocks. It helps turn their stomachs, it's the grit. 
that helps them um, digest food easily. Oyster shells, great, great, great source of calcium and um, helps keep your eggs really strong and healthy. Next thing I wanna talk about is the vermin, uh, not vermin, but like the fleas, the mites, the stuff like that are naturally gonna wanna be attracted to your chicks. I have two different things I'd like to show you here. We have poultry dust. We like to go while they're cooped up at night because obviously, um, well, not obviously, but if some people don't know, but if you end up having your chickens free range, they naturally go to bed at night on their own. I know a lot of people think that's crazy, but they do. They will free range all day long. When it starts to become dusk, they end up going into their houses and roost naturally on their own. So we like to go in at night and you just kind of sprinkle some of this on them. It'll keep the lice away, the mites away, and any kind of little bugs that are trying to live on your chickens. So uh, garden and poultry dust. Same thing you can achieve is the diatomaceous uh, earth. I like to call it DE because it's way easier to pronounce that way. It's a very natural, um, very safe, Form, as long as you get the food grade version of this. Uh, what it is, it's ground up shells and bugs when they walk through it, it ends up killing the bugs. This is safe, it's natural, you can actually eat it. A lot of people talk about putting it in their oatmeal and stuff like that for digestive health. Uh, we like to use it on our chickens because it's natural and it's very safe. So that's kind of what I have for you in terms of keeping your chickens happy, keeping them entertained, loving on them, and giving them fun things to explore and entertain. It can be a great source of fun for you and a great source of fun for them. Please keep up the questions. I loved hearing from everyone. I love looking for the answers if I don't know them. And I love helping everyone out. I think there's a lot of really great chicken farmers in the making, and I look forward to being part of all of it. Thank you so much. From What's the Coop, Molly Brown, Cornell Cooperative Extension, 4-H Youth Educator. See you later. See you next time.